Some people want to buy safety, and so they buy the most famous brand. You can think of some examples of that, I'm sure, where people just say, I want that brand because no one's ever going to fault me for having worked with them. But other people, sometimes more sophisticated people, say, I'm not really buying the trade dress, the logo. I want something a little bit more than that. I want something more bespoke, more tailored to me. And so the people that are competing with the most famous logos are, in order to, to compete well, need to be thoughtful about how do we signal it's going to be tailored, it's going to be more for you, it's, uh, you're going to be paid attention to. The, the big famous logo is only going to pay attention to other big famous logos. They're not going to pay attention to, a, let's say, a mid-market company. But you can't send those kind of signals intentionally just because you'd like to. You'd need to think it through. Uh, and there's some frameworks and tools that we tend to teach around um, getting clear about your brand essence and then how to make that come alive at various uh, touch points, how to train people up and how to do it, how to problem solve, and then deliver that branded experience. Um, so if you're going to compete, if your competitor in includes a big famous brand and you're not, this is one way to compete. So when people come to MIT Sloan and they want some kind of educational experience, um, we tend to see them coming here for three reasons. I talked a lot about people who come here wanting some kind of cultural transformation. They want to change the default settings. But there's really two other reasons that people approach us. One is they have a new strategy or dimension of their strategy that they want to bring more, they want to be better educated about and that they want to bring more to life in more of their company. So we tend to see these clients come with their senior management team and get clear around how do we innovate more effectively? How do we create a more sustainable business? How do we digitize? How do we go global? We need to have a strategy for that. And so tend, that tends to be the very top of an organizational pyramid coming to us to get clear about this kind of strategy, what does our research say about where that's, how to do that, where it's been done, different ways of thinking about it. Um, another example is we want to have a platform strategy. Um, that's a hard strategy to pursue, so how, how might we do that? How do we platformize our business? So that's a second form of um, solution that we tend to provide to people. The third form Different than the cultural transformation or the sort of the new element of our strategy, the third form is one where we need to build a combination of capabilities in some people that are rare and hard to find on the outside. So this is where we take, we might do a more vertical slice of a company. Um, we have companies where the most senior R&D people or the most senior operations people or the most senior country heads are maybe going to retire soon and the next level below needs to get it's a big jump up from the next level below to this top level and so you, they often the people that are sort of number two number three and the people below them need not just one capability but often some business acumen better networks they need some technical skills combined if they're going to make the jump to the next level. So what the companies, these companies are trying to do is either minimize or eliminate some bottlenecks in some parts of the organization that are critical to their success. They can't go to market, they can't compete without these people, and these people are rare and hard and expensive to acquire on the outside, much cheaper, more effective, faster cycle time to build in the capability if you think about what these people really need in this function or across a set of geographies. So that's really the third way that people show up. So this sort of culture change, getting uh, a horizontal slice of leaders to lead a shift in the default settings of an organization, new strategy, the very top usually is involved with that, and then this vertical slice where you're trying to build capability. Those, those three forms are what tend to come up again and again for the people who approach us.